When I was a child, the most interesting book for me uh, was astronomy, the basic astronomy. And I think it's the most uh, magical fairy tale book because when I was reading the conditions on Jupiter or Saturn and imagining that the density of those planets actually the same as a water density or less, I imagined that um, we go there and just uh, dive in and swim in those planets. How crazy is that? And since then, um, all my childhood, I was reading science fiction books and that gave me this um, seed of uh, ideal future where we have space exploration and we travel to different planets. And I thought, okay, when I will be 25, definitely we will be living on Mars and on the moon. So when I was 25, uh, nothing happened like that, unfortunately. Uh, and I was uh, just working as a PR manager and journalist, but um, all the time uh, the thought that I'm not living my life and I'm not following my path was um, telling me that I have to change uh, what I'm doing. And uh, all of a sudden I decided that we live only once and we should do uh, what we love, uh, even though uh, society and everyone else can tell you you're crazy, um, you should still follow your dream. So I started to participate in different um, private uh, space projects. Um, and um, Mars Society is a nonprofit public organization. Um, and President Robert Zubrin actually uh, inspired many of us. And uh, he, together with Mars Society, built uh, space stations which simulate the conditions which you uh, see on Mars. Basically, it's Mars space stations. One in Utah Desert and another one in an inhabitable island uh, in Arctic. And um, just by the accident, I met him in Moscow, he came all the way from America to give his talk. And uh, then he opened up to me the opportunity to be in an amazing project, Mars 160, where a um, crew of six spends three months in Utah desert at Mars Desert Research Station, and uh, um, three months in the Arctic at uh, Flashline Mars Arctic Research Station. And we simulate that we landed on Mars, and start to explore the planet. And first of all, of course, we will be looking for life on Mars. And that was our main goal. Apart from that, we had different engineering um, and um, science projects and research. And um, the most of all, uh, for me, it was very important to understand that this is really my dream and this is what I really want to do. Because uh, when you just lay on a couch and think, okay, I will be a perfect um, Matt Damon in, in the movie Martian. And it's totally another uh, thing when you're actually in the conditions where you have limitations in everything. And um, actually, it was one of the best times in my life. After that, I came back to Moscow and decided um, to follow my dream even more. Um, so I actually uh, started my second uh, degree in engineering and was preparing myself to apply for cosmonaut squad here in Russia. Uh, and I started to work in Institute of Biomedical Problems, uh, which is a leading organization since the 60s um, that studies uh, space medicine and space biology. And back in those days, in the 60s, we had our first isolation experiment. It was secret, uh, and uh, three men spent one year uh, in a tiny space station in the middle of Moscow. The experiment was successful, and since then, uh, IBMP um, was uh, doing different isolation experiments, such as Mars 500, and recently, in 2019, um, they started the experiment Sirius together with NASA. And I was a crew member of this project. So we spent four months in a simulation of uh, orbital moon station no, uh, with no sunlight in four months, no internet, and limitations uh, in food, uh, water supply, and uh, in your surroundings. 
And again, that was also an amazing experience for me, and I understood that I would love to be even more cosmonaut, not only flying on ISS, but actually going to the moon or even to the Mars. Of course, that's a really crazy dream, but I'm hoping that in my lifetime I can see that. Uh, and when this experiment finished, I continued to work in IBMP as an engineer uh, at the station that we have there, and actually making sure that we can do everything uh, possible for humans to live not only safely, but also comfortably uh, in a space station. And um, after that, um, my love for uh, being in experiments and being a lab rat, but in a good way, continued. And uh, another experiment that uh, we had in IBMP called dry immersion, uh, which is basically a simulation of negative effects of microgravity. Uh, dry immersion is a big bath filled with water and uh, covered with waterproof foil. And their test subject lay in this bath uh, for several days. Uh, and um, in 50 years of this experiment, uh, never they had a female test subject. And for me, this was actually crazy. Uh, so um, fortunately, in October 2020, they started the first series of dry immersion experiments with female, and I was the first uh, test subject uh, in, in the world. Uh, and we had only three days dry immersion, so I stayed in this bus for three days, uh, and I understood that uh, our body uh, adapting to extreme conditions or to different conditions so fast. And even uh, in the first day, I already had changes in my body. So um, I lost a lot of liquid, uh, around two and a half liters. And I, uh, my spine stretched so much, so I actually grew one uh, centimeter and a half. And there was many other um, different adaptational um, reactions to, in my body and that I couldn't control. And for me, it was really fascinating. Um, and now we are still um, examining what is happening and how it's different with female and male human body in uh, microgravity. So I think it's um, crucial to study more because if we go to Mars, uh, for sure, there won't be only uh, male uh, astronauts. We will go there together. And why I'm saying all that, uh, seven years ago, I was just an uh, ordinary PR manager and journalist uh, and uh, who was dreaming about space future. And uh, now, after seven years, I'm a test subject and a mission specialist in many amazing projects. Um, and um, I'm already an engineer, I'm a rescuer and ambassador of uh, charity space projects. And um, it's, not, it's only the beginning uh, and it's not the final court. So if you're still hesitant of changing your life, uh, don't be because we live once and uh, we need to follow our dreams. Because if you follow your dream, the uh, world around us will be much better.